Project Management Consulting Services presents Training course on basic skills of Microsoft Project 2010 For managing a project, first we have to create a work structure. To begin with, we will start by a top-down planning method. In Project 2010, we have some special new features available for us to have a top-down planning. The first one is called creating a summary task. We click here and write, for example, projection. It is necessary to select an example that will make more or less sense. I'll choose projection and construction because they are connected between themselves by the stages of work. Right away we'll show that in new technology it is possible to apply top-down planning. For this purpose, I will select manually scheduled, and uh, this is a new feature which appeared in Project 2010. Let us suppose that projection of something like, for example, a road or railway junction will take three months, or should take three months. Of course, all the numbers are very rough. Uh, here I will use one of the new functions that is uh, what new project allows for in previous versions we couldn't just start planning top down right away. Suppose it will consist of roads and some junction. Let's assume that these actions will take one month and one month. Suppose we don't yet have any contracts with contractors on projection stage. We see that even on the main schedule on the gun chart, if we scroll to task we see that those bars have pale color for the dates of start and finish are not yet defined. It is also can be seen in the columns. Okay, I'm closing it. After projection, we'll have a construction stage. We go once again and create a new summary task. Uh, 